Welcome, everybody. The rewatch continues. We are on episode four, hoping to wrap it up today in two parts. We are joined with a very special guest, Prophet of the Dragon, who is on our second ever rewatch. Glad to have you back, my friend. Um, usually we ask what everyone's drinking, but I got a special surprise for you, man. But uh, Pips, Alex, what, what are you guys imbibing right now? Then I'll go. Uh, uh, well, I'm putting down blue moons. Like, yeah, um, blue moons are going down quick. Uh, I picked nice. up some some local fare here where I'm uh, where I'm currently at in a hotel room, and I picked up some some spotted cow. Uh, anyone from the uh, the Midwest might uh, might recognize that one. Is that, that a whiskey? A, nope, it's a Wisconsin beer only. There you go. They do not sell it outside of the state of Wisconsin. There you go. Why? Because they are a local brewery who wishes to remain local. Oh, they're, it, they're men of principle. It takes fresh cows to make it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, Steve, profit. Um, yes, I'm not drinking. I, I, I've, got, I've got a Dr. Pepper. I'm staying sober for this one in solidarity with you. So we are going <laughs> to suffer through this together, my friend. All right. Hey, I got my, I got my array of, of beverages. I have my Pepsi, my water, and my frosty root beer. So I'm I'm re- I'm gonna be caffeinated up. I'm ready to roll. Oh yeah, me too, man. I I got I got some Dr. Peppers, and I'm already kind of feeling it. Uh, but this is gonna be a completely different angle. Um, but yeah, I'm not getting smashed for this one. So we're gonna get super analytical and just dive into all the nitty gritty here. Um, but yeah, to to I, kind I of radiate. Re- I oh, thank no you for your solidarity, but I'm sorry that you're you're gonna be sober. Just had to say that for you. Oh, I am too. Just leaves me wondering, does that mean that our runtime is going to double or half? We'll see. We'll see. We, we have no idea right now. <laughs> we, we, don't ha- <laughs> we, we don't know how, like, well, we see the number kind of on the screen right now. Uh, so we've got about uh, 16 minutes of runtime. But, oh, my God, there is some stuff that we're going to have to kind of watch in slow motion coming up here because this is this is symphorophilia. You can't look away. This is a car crash. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I mean, Prophet is obviously well well known, but uh, I guess I guess uh, he's also a returning guest here, and he's been pretty active. I mean, Prophet, you've been doing live stream after premiere event after live stream. I think I've seen like ten notifications for your channel in the last two days. Uh, you, you, uh, Salty Texas, uh, Salty Texas, C, as well as Amanda Manethrin, who we just had on, have done a bunch of stuff in the last couple of days. Uh, I think you were on with uh, Dane and I with uh, OBG70 the other day. So I don't know. Uh, before we start out, you got any, you gonna give us any teasers? Oh man, I got like a list of stuff I need to do. I just like I think the ne- next one up is um because we did the live stream. Me, uh, Salty Texas, C, and, and uh, Amanda Manefrin did like a two-hour stream today. We it was a good one. The Q- we started the Q and A. We never finished the Q and A, so there's a lot of meat on the bone for that one. So I was wondering I like, about that. It seemed like you guys stopped after yeah, an hour. Tra- and- yeah, it was about an hour. And he transitioned right into the. I, I don't know how we transitioned into it, but it seemed real natural. We ended up right in the tra- into the the behind the scenes thing because he had it done it on his tra- his uh channel. So there's a lot of meat on that bone. So I think that's uh. I may just start over fresh with a group of of lads. Maybe maybe some some people in this uh, call right now might might uh, be there. Uh, that would be cool. But uh, that that I'm looking forward to doing. And then uh, the 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 great hunt sort of interview with my son is one I'm looking forward to doing here. Hopefully soon. So nice. Uh, yeah. Great. So, and then of well, course multiple videos. I got a list if I get any time. Well, we're going to start here uh, with the rewatch pretty quick. We got the the Forgotten Doll transition. And I mean, this is going to end with Super Saiyan at the end of our second episode. Don't know where our mid-episode break is going to be, uh, but we'll kind of play it by ear uh, given the timing. But uh, I guess without any further ado, Alex, you got control of the time clock. So roll us forward, sir. Oh boy, I'm not ready. No one ever is. 
Wayne Yip is a seven-year-old who thinks transitions are cool. <laughs> and we're, we're back to the camp. Establishing shot of Red Aja. Wide shot of no Red Aja. Oh, God. They forgot to they put got... extras in this scene. Forgot it was this episode. I oh, it's early we in the morning. I, I knew where we were ending, but oh my gosh. Taking out Lan's ass. Pajamas. I was going to say, he's... <laughs> He's wearing pants that would uh, look pretty good on uh, right. on Trip's avatar, I think, actually. I got, I got a question here. Can we pause here, Alex? Hit us with a day, because I think we all had the exact same question. Are, is she the only one shielding Loghain right now? Because Kareni kind of walks in from off screen. And this kind of seems like it's contradicting what the show earlier established, that they need to have two shields on him at all times. Otherwise, he'll break out. That, uh, that is indeed what this uh, what the, this uh, this intro to this scene seems to be suggesting. They we're to assume that Karini Car- is it Karini? I forget her name because she's so unimportant. Uh, mm-hmm. She's just that good at it. She don't even have to think about it. <laughs> like, uh, it, yeah, one of a million contradictions probably in this episode. It's ridiculous. Did you guys think that somebody else was supposed to be in this shot and maybe got edited out like in post? Like there's, you know, maybe maybe someone else was actually supposed to be sitting there and then they just like, uh, we forgot. I think they, I think so they the, the one thing that I could actually very much have seen happening is a lot of this episode getting reshot once yeah. COVID restrictions were on. So like the reason that they didn't have any extras was because they didn't want to have any extras around <laughs> for covid shooting the reason we don't have a second person sitting here is because they didn't want to have a second person sitting there due to social distancing rules like Gosh. that's the only thing i can think of other than that this is just completely and totally incompetent incompetent i'm going right to incompetent i don't think it has at least this scene probably the empty i think you're probably on the ball with the the empty encampment well i don't know everything's empty so i guess it's all covid restrictions but this i think they just forgot uh, that they were going to say it takes two and they forgot that they didn't have two shielding him. I think they they want you to believe there might be somebody off screen or something shielding him too, but uh, I think they just forgot. I think, uh, actually, you guys are all being huge bigots right now because uh, well, Robert Jordan's well. world was an empty world. There were there were abandoned villages and cities and it was it was a world in decline. So the empty camp, that's that's canon, okay? You just yes. need to just accept it. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Trollocs ate everybody, right? The Trolloc Wars. The Trollocs won the Trolloc Wars, right? I mean, it is just like no. within the entire show. They they said like, oh, yeah. COVID restrictions. Like there were no extras in like the beginning of the show either, right? Like yeah. em, Emmons, well, Emmons Field had like not really enough people to seem like what was supposed to be like Beltine and like winter night where like everybody from the surrounding area was there. Like, no, it looked like pretty much the people who lived in those five houses were there. To be be honest, the camp was probably completely shagged out, right? The only people we saw were the ones that didn't get laid last night. (laughs) (laughs) Well, 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 to not, not go off on a tangent here, but I think this is, they just forget that this is a bustling uh, world because yeah. If you if you look at the behind the scenes stuff, and I'm sure you guys will eventually, uh, hopefully tape it and, and do something on your channel. Um, there's nobody in season. There's no extras in season two either. You got shots of whatever land it is. It's all desert, and there's nothing. Well, you can't. They don't have the budget to do that many wigs. Like the, you know, That's limited true. limited number of wigs. That's fair. I forgot. Yeah, we can't. No no character. We can't have any characters because the budget so no characters right. this season just castles all right let, let's move on because the, the scenes begin to tick me off or the shot <laughs> especially like welcome to everyone else did you plan to talk to me <sighs> no no <laughs> just i like how she's very comfortable like so everybody in the camp is talking about your treasonous plans and activities were you going to tell me about your plans to commit treason? Like, I would have been interested to hear your plans for treason. And everyone was just very calm about this. Like, yeah, everybody else is like on board. They're just like, yeah, yeah, I'll commit treason with you, Leandrin. I completely trust you. This is so bad. 
I do like how, how, like at the end of the day, when when you really look at it from that perspective, that like yes, this is violating tower law, all this other stuff, right? I like how they include Moraine in it, so it's like even even their their sort of like heroine, you know, the the lead character of the story, obviously. They don't even spare her from it because it's, I guess, useful to the plot later to have her be a co-conspirator breaking tower law. It's ridiculous. I think once he's out, they can gentle him on the basis of like self-defense. Like no, because they had shooting. him. They had him shielded again. They should just shield him. Like no, it's all treason. They should have shielded him again. They should have just added more people to the shield or something the, and the, not been incompetent. Yeah, That's exactly. Like, it. The issue is that they can link to Gentilum, as we'll see, but they could link to shield him. This is not yeah. the threat that it's made out to be in this scene. It's and manufactured. The, the mechanic, yeah, well, it, well it's, contra- yeah. it's contradictory, right? Well, because the, the, the mechanism that would solve their issue is what they end up using to Gentilum at the end. Like, it, yeah. this is well, so ridiculous. They forget a whole bunch of things just to just have manufactured tension. I mean, they're they're, you know nodding off you know you can add a whole bunch of knots to it and then and just have one person monitor it and it would be fine you know the tying off streams i guess aren't a thing in in this world um which is going to cause a bunch of problems for later on too so um it's just pure incompetence on, on yeah, not but only, they're, not, yeah. they're obviously not worried about the show being a contradictory mess because oh yeah obviously that's what they're gonna have anyway keep going i guess This is also goofy because they establish this is wrong. No, it's the opposite. It's way easier to maintain a shield than to break out of it. Yes, exactly. That's especially amusing considering the implication of Karini just walking in is that Leandrin has been doing it herself. Yeah. So what they're saying is that Leandrin is significantly more powerful than Logan. Yeah, they're building up uh, Leandrin's (laughs) they're building up Leandrin's power like she's one of the most powerful channelers in the tower right now, and it's just silly. Yeah, I mean Leandrin, I don't know. I've I've had this discussion with I think a couple of you guys that I I think that Leandrin and like the, the thirteen black sisters sort of like generally, right, was like probably one of those storylines that like should have been strongly considered to be on the chopping block if you're trying to really condense this story down. Yeah. Um, and and the fact that they're expanding it is just yeah. hilarious. Well, yeah, the things they've taken out, but they're expanding on this. Like, you can totally get rid of Leandra and you still have Eladia and all that stuff it's, later. They, they made it so that there's only eight Forsaken, but uh, I'm sure we're going to have every one of these 13 fucking Black Sisters, even the one who, like, you know, takes care of cats and shit. <laughs> especially, <laughs> especially the one who takes care of cats. Let's be honest about who's making this film. Heck yeah. She's going to be riding a tiger into battle. She'll it's going to be... be like, yeah. It's gonna be Cat Lady I Sedai. <laughs> She's gonna have little kitty oh. ears. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. she can have a fursona. I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> doubt it with this crew. <laughs> She's, I, one other thing that I find oh, fascinating man. about this is that they establish in episode eight that you can just attach Aya Sedai to a link and they just serve as fucking batteries. Yeah. So yeah. why haven't they just strapped three accepted to Leandrin's back and just use that to balance out the power levels. Yeah, uh, No, that, that would have fixed the whole reason why they're stuck here, right? The, the, the plot of this episode doesn't make any sense if they discover linking before they need to. This is beyond contrivance. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Fucking Chad. Yeah. <laughs> Based. We have hundreds of so, miles yet to the White Tower. It's so <sighs> it, it's, it's, oh, God. The Good Lord. Way. Yes, because this yeah. is what you do as the Red Aja. You find people and you bring them back. To... The three O's would allow us to jump in. No. No, Leandrin, that is not how the three O's work. You can gentle someone. I think Alex Because is you're right not here. using the... You're not using the power as a weapon. That's what the oath prevents. 
what they can't do is gentle him here on the spot without a trial because it's against their law. But at the same time, she's been doing that up and down the countryside and everybody seems to know about it, not mind. Like, I think that Alex is right here. I I mean, everything you said is is correct. I I was just gonna say, I think Alex is correct here that this is uh, another, another sort of like modern sort of events inserted in. I think Alex, with his take on like you know police shooting stuff, is exactly what this is. And uh, Rafe Rafe Judkins is coming out on a, the side of the topic that I'm I'm not sure that anyone would have predicted. That he's he's like, yeah, I guess uh, if they're running away, you can still shoot at them. I was uh, actually looking at it as uh, Leandrin is the bad cop encouraging the uh, the fleeing criminal to pick up the knife so that she can shoot him, like. I mean, ex- this show is, I don't think the show is going to make her bad. I mean, like, I can't no. imagine it. They're setting her up so much that the, they're going to realize she's everyone's favorite character now. And yeah, they, have, a- they have to retcon her being evil. <laughs> well, look, look, we're getting, we're getting, you know, we already know we're getting past, more more past of, of Leandra. We're digging into her past this season, this season goody. two, which, which goody, goody gumdrops is exactly what I want. More Leandra. They're going to... She's gonna have some some heel turn, and she's gonna become a a, a baby face for you know uh, plug and heel versus baby face, whatever. But sorry, uh, and she's gonna be this you know all of a sudden Moraine and her are gonna be besties because they gotta get together and overcome the evil man guy that's gonna kill them because he's insane. It, you know it it's it, they're just setting it up. It's they're gonna make her good, and it's ridiculous. I just want to point out, it's kind of sad that we're barely even talking about this scene other than just like, ah, this is lore breaking, this is stupid. Because, like, again, it's just just plot plot that is actually just exposition sort of masquerading as plot is what's happening here. Yeah. Well, in, in, in an episode... We've stood for 3,000 years, but because we... Do we do what, what is right? Women if, affirming if, women. If, well, <laughs> I was I was going to say if there was like if, if I had any question at all like that Judkins had a, had an oath of brains in his head I would be saying like Karini is perfectly exemplifying how the Aes Sedai's attitude of superiority is leading to the to the downfall of the White Tower and the the gradual withering of the limb if you will but no she's just echoing white tower propaganda talking points not because you know it's intentionally illuminating that the white tower is wrong like in the book they're just white, white tower can't be wrong are you kidding yeah. me come on come on yeah, so just in, intentionally going 180 degrees on it yeah, yeah the the fact that the tower is you know white is uh is offset by it's full of women so that that means that it's good mm. Oh man. The law applies to us just as Gosh, this is supposed to be such a fucking dramatic scene. Just like listen listen to the sort of echoing shit in the background. All I can think is wasting time, wasting time. And, yeah. wasting and red time. is the po- reds are the police force, if you guys that was the second uh, yeah. reference to that. Bullshit. Right? Yeah, you're watching this scene and you're just like, This is where Perrin was being chased by the crows. Or the Ravens. This but is I mean, where Elias this, this was teaching where, about. Yeah, exactly. This is where we could have had Elias. This is where we could have had a million. Th- oh, is this bad Kata time? Oh man, or what's he doing? We're, no, we're about to get the uh, the old tongue that she remembered as a child, and somehow, like twenty years later, still says oh. perfectly for him to be able to translate. We're we're, we're gonna be here for a while, fellas. We're pre- we're prepping I, I did some for homework. Prepping for Nynaeve's uh, mysterious mother that, that shouldn't exist, right? Is that what we're prepping for here with this one? I'm sorry. Why don't you just take her now, Lan? Just Liar. take her right here. Take you, her. You, you absolutely meant to ensure. That's why you walked up on him loudly, intending to have a conversation with him. I just meant to spy on you from afar, and while well, you didn't notice, I just I just want to take a quick sec to see. Look at look at that garbage sword. That is the sword of the the kings of Malkir. Yeah, Crap. yeah, it's pretty shitty. Although I um because I did go through this uh, at a very slow speed, the fight scene coming up. I think the scabbard does have a gap way down the side, 
So this might actually be a more of a practical back scabbard than I was initially giving credit for. Not yeah, that we like Shad Shad did it. a did a thing on it and he gave it partial credit. The, the there's like a little peg that kind of like yeah. potentially engages with the uh the sword in a way that kind of keep it in there and there is a little bit of a slit to get it in, but it's yeah, it still looks kind of silly. And he's not supposed to have his sword on his back anyway, but you know. Yeah. And it looks like trash. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Um, but let's be sure to pause when we see the uh, the, the old tongue in the uh, in the subtitles. She didn't. Oh, buddy, she did. That is she, costumes are so damn terrible. Oh man, how is you know everybody? You know, with how bad people were assassinated in this show, everybody sort of it, land gets glossed over a little bit because land was totally destroyed in the show too. Like eviscerated it's buffering so there we go it caught up it should be good seven times with the seven towers right. of Malkia. for the home we lost why is he saying we he's the last of the mokiri oh we shall find again no you won't all your people are dead lan pretty much remember when lan was stoic yeah stoic <laughs> and yeah that, that's what i'm saying is like you're talking too much. Tell her to f off because you're you're doing water stuff. Or I, I, you know, hey, I can't give you what you want. Back off. I'm married to the sword. Wasting time. Wasting time. Just wait. Just wait. Wasting time. Is. Pause. All right. I, I got a bit of a question here for Steve. Uh -huh. I don't know how well you know the old tongue, but is there a word or part of a word in here that you recognize? Mothra, Ellen Hunt. I see anaroid, which is ter like a little bit of like tel telenoroid. Uh, let's see here. Martha is part of the uh, Abbey. Not really. Maroth. I mean. Maroth is is, Ma is that from uh, Sean Chan Maroth Dom Domani? So there's yeah, those who must must be leashed. There's right? also there's Domani and there's Maroth Domani. There's also well, Athan Sharia, which Athan Mier, right, is something we know. And uh, then Avenda is Avenda Sora. So there's a couple. There's a couple things that are pretty. And then, pretty, well, and then you have Ana. Uh, Ara it's it's Roy. Ayenda. Yes, not Avenda. It's okay. Ayenda. No, well, so, then, yeah. So. All right, so then, good point. Yeah, telling a roid. Good. Yeah, so it's like so, they've taken pieces and just whatever. No, 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 no. It's better. Yeah. So this was the thing that struck me because I watched this a couple times, but Maroth was a word that I recognized because I know what it means, right? Because it's Maroth the Mon is those who must be leashed. Right. So, and sorry about the noise if you guys are hearing that. But Maroth meaning must, but when Lan comes and gives her a translation, he doesn't actually say must. He says, it says, we shall go into the land so our children can always hold us and we'll never be alone. Must isn't in there. So I was like, wait a sec. I have the companion. There's over a thousand old tongue words in that. What the hell does this actually say? So I'm going to translate this for you guys. I got to get that companion. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> I, I and an means dead, plural. Uh, Atha'an Sharia is people of the blood. Plural, plural. Marath means must. Alend means passing by. Nesodin through it. Aran Ara Riyadh, the my land. So, so far, this prayer says dead people of blood, plural, plural, must passing by through it, the my land. Let's go to the next line. It's even worse. Oh my gosh. There. Fl Lovinge Zavalataveran Baasa translates as and our memory will cause change heart. And I want to be very, very clear that word Zavalat, that is the noun will, not the verb. So it's a legal document. That's how awful this is. Well, they just want to get Taveran on screen. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. But so, I mean, 
they, so, ha- they have the language. They have they have a thousand words, and they know some nerd is going to dig through this eventually. Well, they also had to string together an entire conversation in uh, in episode eight, and they hired oh, they yeah. hired like a linguistic uh, team and like scriptwriters to like write out stuff in the old tongue. So like, well, that's what that's what they claim, but we still need to dive through that when we get there. Uh, but when we get this there, is it's not be looking gross, good. I'm sure. So this whole speech says, uh, dead people of the blood must pass by through it, the my land, and our memory, will and testament, cause change of hearts. That's what this says. It doesn't say, we shall go into the land so our children can always hold us and we'll never be alone. You could kind of work up something like that that works um, with the words given, although there are some missing words like parents and children aren't actually in the old tongue. But for crying out yeah. loud, who needs you can, the subject of sentences? Well, <laughs> you can make something up, right? You, you can take enough license and come up with an original word. But every word that they've put in here is actually in the companion, so they are taking stuff. It's just, it's just, un, it's such garbage. Sorry, give me a second, guys. I'm I'm actually surprised that you're saying that they actually pulled words out of the out of the actual language instead of just took complete license and just made their own shit up complete wholesale uh, you know all, all the way through but you see but the this old tongue flows it doesn't matter what it means it just means needs to flow right i mean sure it, which <laughs> kind of brings me to the point that i was going to make which is like so in the story they're telling here her parents said this to her one time when she was a child and then 20 years later she is able to parrot it perfectly when they left her is is, is that a, is that a story that anybody believes it, so I, I, my head canon in this is that it's it's complete nonsense and land knows that it's complete yes. nonsense yeah he's just like nodding along like trying to smash like that, Again, I don't know why with the show I always go back to the astrology chick at the bar just saying nonsense to you and you just nod <laughs> with her. So. Well, what's this? What's it supposed to say again? I, you've said it a few times. What is? What is it? She says it's, something it's, about it's something about we shall go into the land so that our children may inherit it and keep us in their hearts or something like that. Right, and and what that's happened, coming up. What happened to her mother and father? We don't know. Nothing, but it's they apparently but she they, might be the dragon. Yeah, They're but they gone. apparently quoted the last words of sort of the king and queen of Menethrin. And then they left her? Yes. Yeah, Which is kind I of mean, a dick move. Like, I mean, I, well, that's, I guess... That's what I'm getting at. I mean, I guess... <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I guess there's no in-world equivalent of telling your kid that you're going out to get a carton of milk. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like, hey, here's this saying that we speak in the old tongue. Uh, bye. It's like I would hate that saying. So I like I wouldn't be like, oh, that means so much to me. It's like your parents like peaced out after that. I mean, I guess we're making an assumption, but it's like, like where are your parents? Like, why does this mean so much to you if they're not around? Unless you know they, you saw them killed or something. Like, uh. right? it's like you don't you don't know what happened. They're just gone. I, I like that. There's one of two implications here. The first being, uh, as we've seen Rafe Judkins representing most people of color here, it's stereotypical and terrible. The black chick's parents just ditched her. Um, Or (laughs) their last words to her, knowing they were about to get killed, was complete nonsense. It wasn't like, I will always love you. It's, you know, here's this string of gibberish. I really hope you remember it. Neither one is good. Yeah, it's she like, has to get a, did they, they took the time to explain what it meant after too. They're no, like she she's <laughs> she hasn't known what it means this entire time. So it's literally like here's some gibberish that you'll probably oh. never understand. So it's worse. <laughs> it's worse. That'd be like me going to Easton and being like, "Hey kid, uh, shaga baga duga diga diga," and he's like, and then I die, and that's like his, <laughs> and that, his mantra he, for the rest of his life. Yeah, and, and then the guy who's trying to bone. Her basically, <laughs> basically explains it as something that actually it doesn't say. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the guy, okay. Land, Land comes back and says, that means you're hot and I want to get with you. And it's like, my dad said you're hot and I want to get with you? That is <laughs> yeah. so weird. Okay, let's I, I move love on that we've reached the point where Ricky Bobby 
Talladega Nights has a better, like, established bit about parents' last words impacting their child's life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm calling it now. Nynaeve's, uh, Nynaeve's grandparent uh, is uh, Emperor Palpatine. <sighs> The villa noun will. By by the way, this is all wasted time. Uh, that's most of the show. I know, the but it's just you know. Me and they hit me in the cellar during an attack on our village. Which okay, just Who that line there. Their exactly. The other implication of this whole story is that the two rivers is some war torn fucking shithole. <laughs> <laughs> or or it always like, suffers trollic attacks. So so basically, uh, not only did Rand and Matt and Perrin and Egwene come from like an idyllic sort of village with good, wholesome moral values and stuff like that. No, they actually came from Compton. <laughs> it's just, oh just God. fucking violence and like teen pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, didn't, no wonder uh, she gives it up so easily. Come on. Did, yeah. Didn't they say Nynaeve came from a different village? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Which. <laughs> that's what yeah, that's the whole that's the whole thing uh, to try sorry part of yeah, but, good but good point alex away. good point alex devon ride is copton not uh, evans field <laughs> devon ride is copton what is like evans field evans field is orange county <laughs> devon ride is so far away from compton or from <laughs> from compton from evans field oh my gosh uh, uh sorry the prophet you're gonna get to... you're gonna get uh sort of proc or canceled by uh by proximity when this gets released <laughs> I don't care. You know, <laughs> shit. You see who I hang with. We're good, man. Let's go. <laughs> I almost feel bad making fun of this. Just such shit. Like, though she used to say it. That that line is just terrible. With wisdom, people don't come to wisdoms for ignorance. What does That's that even mean? Well, what it's wrong. Right, because the wisest people are the ones who are aware of their ignorance. Right, that's that's a definition of wisdom: being aware of your limitations. Socrates knew that he was the wisest of all Greeks, for he knew that he knew nothing. Every character in this show—they don't know what wisdom person, means. Every character and every person in this show is just a case study for the Dunning Kruger effect. Right, just Rafe Judkins thinks that he's a genius and. And these people think that they're geniuses. It's ah, oh, it's ridiculous. I think combining both of your uh, both of your sentiments into one point isn't the expression. Uh, you can only write a character as smart as yourself. There you go. Mm -hmm. This I almost feel bad making fun of this scene. Like if this was an English paper and you were a TA and you were just asked to grade like your <laughs> professor's papers. Wouldn't you just cross this entire passage out and just be like, no, go back and rewrite this? <laughs> what, what I what I want to know is, can she fit any more earrings in there? Because, you know, that's what... Yeah, that yeah Layla, Layla actually set the standard, so there's, there's plenty yeah, the, of real the estate limit, in there. The yeah. upper limit is 11, and she's only, I think, at 3, so she's oh, good. Well, yeah. You know, because Edmund Fields, Fielders are known for their bling, you know, right? So they got to get all blinged out. Dude, the first sea folk we see better smash this record. Like, it better be like thirty <laughs> earrings. All right, uh, the, the first sea folk we see are going to be whiter than me, man. I was going to say tan tangent there. Uh, topless sea folk uh, is that going to happen or not happen? What's the what's the poll? Dude, we're not getting leash dame. We're not getting topless sea folk. Maybe bottomless male sea folk. Oh, oh, like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're welcome for that. That uh, you know. Are we though? You know I'm right. You know I'm right. The, the odds of that, the odds of no bottoms on the males if, is much higher than no uh, tops. On I the mean, females. it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen only because Raginor now knows that he's the person who gets to run the casting couch. Yeah, so I was going to say. I was going to say when season two does terrible and they uh, they can just do whatever the fuck they want with season three because they know they're getting canceled. That's when shit's gonna get wild. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh my god. Shit isn't already wild. Do you want to what? Do it? Oh, now he, he gives the false translation. Oh, okay. 
She wants to know. And he says, dead people of the blood must, passing by through it, my land, and our memory wills, testament, cause change, heart. Ugh. So dramatic. Not what it says. Which is also a stupid thing for the king and queen of Minethrin to have said. Mm -hmm. Hey kids, we're gonna go die so that you can always be close to us. We're gonna we're gonna go into the land so that our kids can always hold us. But like your like your corpses? Like they're just yeah. gonna, <laughs> gonna come, bring out your dead. <laughs> uh like what a terrible way to just like highlight the last stand of Minethrin. Right, I mean, Amon's. Oh my God! It's dramatic like music. Like oh my song. God! Well, the the other thing that's wrong about it is the king of Minethrin and the queen. They weren't actually together when they decided to separate and go fight. Like the king came back with his army, and the queen was at Minethrin. Can Can we just highlight the fact that? Anyways, she, she literally. Just said, yeah, I thought you were a bitch. <laughs> yes. I wonder why she do, thought that. Dude, Lan is flirting. Like, or, like, what is wrong? Like, come on. Like, Lan is flirting. It's just totally off-putting. He's, he's fidgeting with his sword while he's flirting. He's like, oh, shucks. He, all he's got to do is be like, aw, and getting pink. He's like, oh, God. He shrugs and he looks to the side and he like twists one leg. Yeah, and... yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, Aw, that shucks. <laughs> I thought I thought it was a lap dog too. I guess I'm not. Okay, now, but guys, this show's gonna get so much better now because mm. an action scene is gonna start. Oh man, sweet. Oh yes. All right, Can we get to see. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, Alana's little. Th okay, I'll wait for it. It's so bad. Actually, oh fuck, Nynaeve actually does the ooh, giggles. She does the yeah, little, I'm not yeah, sure hand. which one giggling is more offensive. She's just saying, take me, like, you know Rafe totally wanted to go, or Rajan or whatever we're referring to that asshole as in this, uh, just, just wanted to have it be like, okay, now Lan takes her on the mountainside, and they're like, <laughs> you can't do that, man. <laughs> do me, Lan, right now. It's a Melmera. So what do we think he was going to say here? <laughs> are, he, are you suggesting that he didn't think she was going to ask a question? And now he's like frantically like the, the, the hamster on the wheel. Just like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. I, I, no, I'm, I was genuinely curious. Like what like nonsensical glowing praise like was Lan about to like lavish on the woman that tried to kill him eight hours ago? The Lioness. That, the only thing that would have like saved it with like some dumb analogy like you're a, a moose with beautiful horns it's like huh like it's like all right i i don't think you would have called her a uh, moose yeah. i think a lioness is probably it probably but they didn't have to do that because they hear shouting in the distance oh he still can't see. oh well, wait no there are no trollocs that's right there are no trollocs in this world the well, the, the Trollocs disappeared in the last episode, and an army yeah. of um, yes. people who live with their mothers is supposed to come. Are we going back? No, no, no. Was that? Oh, that's a ward. Is that what that was? Yeah. Looks like his army didn't run home to their mothers after all. Fuck you. What? Uh, what do you I... think the conversation was like where they picked out that effect for the wards being tripped? somebody sitting there saying like we blew all the budget on hookers and blow uh we need to do something and someone was like uh you know those little firecrackers you like put in like a pot and you like light them and it sounds like gunfire what if we just like uh edited out the sound but, like threw some of those down the hallway that works oh man so in the books Highlighting the power of the Aes Sedai and the White Tower, they captured Loghain at the head of an allied, like, joint army with, like, thousands of, like, the Queen's Guard and, like, noblemen's, like, you know, house retainers and, like, 
soldiers from different di- different com- countries, right? Uh, and it was like, yeah, the the Aes Sedai are like, you know, they're they're in charge in this like multinational coalition army thing. And then in the show, which is a feminist show, supposed to highlight women and their strengths. It's the Aes Sedai are in charge of a camp of approximately 25 soldiers that they brought with them themselves. Uh, I guess no, I'm, the, the I'm only... missing something here, right? Like, where? what am I missing? A budget. It's like three-tenths. <laughs> I think most of the soldiers are the green warders. And I think the tower servants that we see in the background, I don't know if they're all women or not. You, One you of them I say, see kind of walking with an axe, yeah. but I don't think they're soldiers. They're you not say, tower guard. Say uh, the, the warders, but there's a couple women with axes and spears that we've seen, so they're, you know, they got some stuff. The mighty bowman warder, yeah. That would be my first choice as a warder, too. Yeah. You know, can we just do a, a brief breakdown on the inherent flaws of a warder using a bow and arrow as his preferred weapon uh let's see the only reason warders exist is because the inherent vulnerability of an Aes Sedai bound by the three oaths in order to like protect themselves from like close proximity unsuspected threats right so you have a guy with a sword which is a good close quarters defensive or offensive but close quarters weapon uh, that can defend you from, you know, people with daggers and swords and axes and stuff like that that can jump at you before you can channel. Uh, meanwhile, you have a bow, which is a offensive weapon that does literally nothing to protect you or someone standing next to you from anything. And it is an offensive ranged weapon, which is exactly the situation where the one power is infinitely better. He is literally worthless. Yes, but we couldn't even get you have to protect the squishy mages right. Like, a, a trope as old as fantasy and sword and sorcery has existed. Yes. Well, I'm not even like, yeah, of course, warders should know how to shoot, but like, they can have a bow, but that he shouldn't like be immediately, he should be like standing in front of her or something with his sword out. He's far more effective than Maxim because we'll see Maxim in the spear, but I don't think he even fucking kills a guy in this fight. Let's keep going. Remember, I'm doing this sober, so this Wait, is painful. Does- does he shoot oh, anything oh. either? Oh, no. hey, it's guys... my favorite weapon. The, that the sound effect. Axes. Look, look how choked up on those axe handles he is. Like, why would you <laughs> oh, choose? No. Why would you choose two mini hand axes as oh, your weapon? Steve, we, we already beat that to death. Maxim, we, we literally is spent carrying a minutes on fucking those axes. spear. Yeah, is that is that is that the slouchy guy in the corner behind Nynaeve? Is yes. that yep. Maxim? Yes. That's Maxim. Yes. Maxim He's... with the spear, the shing when Lan pulls the sword out was just egregious. Like Nynaeve's what? hanging with them. Like, like, like I don't understand this need to have all these different warders carry swords, white cloaks carry swords or lances. If they're, it's like I don't understand why everybody has to have a different weapon. Give guards and like tower guards spears. Fine. Like you know, it's awesome. Ridiculous. How yeah. how many of these guys are wearing armor? None. Zero. Yeah, exactly. Let's work. Where where, where where are, are the warder cloaks? cloaks? Where are the water cloaks? <laughs> Not even black cloaks. Like that's the other thing. It's like they couldn't even like do black cloaks or like something. That like, was my argument try. when people were like, "Oh, the budget. You couldn't possibly do water cloaks. The budget. The budget. The budget." Oh, it's like, it. uh, excuse me. They could have done just regular cloaks that looked yep. like had the same cut and like fabric, and just scene to scene to scene, they could just change them to subtly different colors. Well, I and... mean, they could have even just left them black. I mean, like if they couldn't, if they couldn't figure out how to do the color shifting, like okay, first you suck because somebody on the internet did yes. it. Yes, but there's also literally fabrics that just have a yeah. sheen to them that do right. color shifting, literally yeah. just in light. <laughs> yeah, well, there's cars, there's car paint that you, goes in the sun. One, you know, one, it's one color. Yes, I mean, hot wheels Not... change color in hot water. What the hell are we talking about here? Uh, Good point. Crazy. Hot Wheels, better than the Warders. All right, Hell let's yeah. keep going. Oh, 
Oh god, that's egregious sound effects. Yeah, it sounds like an airplane was engine. Missile? Was that a missile it, or something? It sounds like I, an aircraft I, I, engine. Say, can I say real quick how much I hate channeling in this show too? Just how yeah. stupid it you is. Can, you can say real long. You just take as much time as you need. It is <laughs> the most ridiculous thing that they can't, like... Alright, so... With this show, the thing that bo- well, I shouldn't say the thing that bothers me the most, like, because come on, right? But one of the things that drives me nuts about the show is all the things that they don't think about re- the repercussions if they were to go later, right? So there's a reason that certain weaves are supposed to be more complex. It's not because it takes more power. It's because you need to have more skill and weaving to do it. It's called a weave for a reason. You're weaving together all of these elements to make a outcome, right? We're not just fucking last airbendering these arrows and stopping them with wind and it's just you know it's it, it, the excuse well it'd be hard to figure it out no just it wouldn't just you, you have the little white things have them a little different colors or something have her moving her hands around and then pushing out the weave or something like but but creativity is hard i guess i right. don't know well to, to everybody who says that well you know they couldn't do that because it was hard my response is going to be, fuck you, we were right, Judkins himself has said they're doing it in the next season. So clearly it wasn't that fucking hard, you apologist pig. Wait, like, what are they doing? They're going the to try in the next the season. Weaves. They're going yeah. to make them colored. Uh, are you serious? Them... Yeah. Yes, we'll I'm 100% well, serious. So that, that make, so that fit good continuity there, so now, so yeah, so I guess what, nine, uh, naive, I'm sorry, uh, Rain used bale fire on that freaking tro- trollic in episode one. What the hell was that weave? Like, I don't know. It's and it, you guess what? They're gonna make it worse somehow. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, they're somehow so, gonna make it worse. Let, let's keep going, but I got a question here. Um, oh, I, is, is and a, a I'm lo- not remotely done with oh. this shot. Yes. <laughs> okay. I, what, I'll what? let you go because my my point's coming for later. Um, let's just establish here. I think we got fourteen people in this camp that we're gonna follow in the fight. That's it. Well, you I, don't see Alex, anybody else. Can I say one more thing, Alex, real quick, just before you go off? Um, I find it also ridiculous and troubling that I can't tell that all these frumpy guys, if all these guys are warders or not. Like, I don't know if they're just town people in the camp, servants, random guys with swords, or warders. There's no way to distinctly tell if they're actually warders or not. They just look like dudes. The guy in the back... The fat guy with his sword in his sheath, not looking at anything, checking out Maxim's ass. Yeah. They have the beard and the in the clown shoes. Look yes. how big his feet are. Kill me. His I, feet are huge. So that wasn't even one of my things though. So we have All of these people look is... like they're crudely photoshopped into this shot. Like they like they shot this with individuals. So for COVID spacing, and then just pasted them all together again. That's all I think. Just wait till you see the King of Gildan again, because I'm pretty well, sure that guy's CGI'd well, in. What's the guy on the bottom right doing? Like, he's, does he even have a weapon? No. Like, he's, <laughs> he's just, like, standing there staring at the arrows. All the other Aes Sedai are just like, I guess Alana's got this one, fellas. And, and, and <laughs> it's just it's so stupid. Oh, my God. Pips, can you please uh, give us your expertise and describe, uh, in your own words, what you would call this formation, this military formation? Uh, I believe the technical term is a gaggle fuck. <laughs> a gaggle fuck? <laughs> uh, uh, I love uh, the horses, just completely nonchalant. They're as nonchalant as the warders not looking at the arrows. The horses are like, get, get me the fuck out of here. Right. Oh, and then uh, yeah, the uh, the arrows, which are uh, clearly uh, clearly dropped in using the uh, the CGI engine from The Witcher Two games. Yeah, so, circa uh... nineteen ninety. <laughs> hey, oh hey prophet, God. prophet, you're playing the Wheel of Time video game. Do you think they yes. just used that? <laughs> I think, yeah, actually, yeah, I think they might have. I mean, it's actually, I think sometimes the Wheel of Time CGI video game from that is better. (laughs) Even with their goofy boobies and and weird chins. uh, I know the story is better. Oh, man. This is a terrible shot. (laughs) 
Can, let's, can let's we move go. on? This is it's hurting I me. I can't look away from Frumpy guy up there on top, man. I like, just look at him. Like, he's falling go. asleep. He's I like falling the, asleep. The palest there. dude that I've ever like. There's a vampire <laughs> standing behind the other man. <laughs> like it's fucking Gollum. Does anybody? Does anybody <laughs> picture the red? Like I'm looking at the reds, and I'm just thinking they're looking at, staring at the arrows, and they're just really mad at them. So it was like, I, I do like how two how the of the greens works. two of the greens look like they're weaving. The third one in the back is conceivably like, oh, they got this. The, no, the three red sisters Tom. the three red sisters can't really, like, they're not looking at their two, uh, you know, the two greens. So I think the three reds are just embracing death. <laughs> they're just staring at them going, I hate arrows. They're so I, I think I think you're wrong though. I think the other green sister up front is just getting ready to kung fu them. Mm. The one on the let's, left let's, of the red sister's eyes are glowing in this shot though. I just want to point that out. Let's move on, please. She's let's a go. she's a wolf sister. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, let's, let's go. She's gonna turn into a werewolf. She has burnished eyes. She's gotta die then. She can't live. Hey, all of you rings of power fans. Dane, you can start Wait, drinking yeah. at any time. It's okay. I can, I, I can. I don't control the pause button. Alex does. He's, he needs it, to run us no, forward. No, no, no. I just you can. Oh, you sorry. Can start, you can start drinking anytime you want. I'm really okay. It's Dude, really fun. Like, <laughs> we need to get to our mid episode break precisely so that I can actually go to the fucking wine cellar and get myself a bottle. <laughs> Why do you think I'm sounding so damn desperate? <laughs> okay, is Alana using the one power as a weapon coming up? Like I know they. Yes, 100. percent Because. You have nine full <laughs> sisters, Leandrin. You dumb and bitch. What, you and what are they, well, what are they gonna do? They're gonna kill him. Like, like against this no, army. The, the, like, the worst thing here is watch Kareni explode out and go to the side for some reason. Okay. I think the implication of this line <laughs> is just fascinating. No army can get past seven full sisters. So if if we operate under the assumption there's what a thousand Aes Sedai at the White Tower. Yeah. About so, uh, the, the, the power imbalance of this universe is so unfathomably massive. Like, the political implications of this are just astounding. Well, like, it's, it's, this is wrong, right? Because it's not an army, it's like 40 people, and they do get by seven full sisters. Yeah. Yep. Um, something, and, something, the well, arrogance... Yeah, the flip side of it is beat me to it, Pips. Beat me to it. Let's steal more Rain's line from the beginning. The arrogance of the Aes Sedai to think that arrogance. Sorry, go ahead, Dane. Five accepted can kill ten thousand Trollocs, and Eamon Valda can kill a white or a uh, yellow and chop off actually, her hands like that. One accepted, two Wilders, and two not even Wilders, like literally untrained people who can't touch the true source. That's that's for a later episode, but I mean, the, the, we've already kind of discussed how power levels are just completely insane in the show, and they they don't track it at all. It, it's hard enough to track in the books, but I mean, you get something like yeah. the companion, or you, or you look just the effort that Robert Jordan actually put in, yeah, to kind of make sense of power levels, and he uses it all the time. And he's, I think there's one or two parts where there's maybe a discrepancy in the books with uh, stated power levels. But even then, well, like it could be could be down to to Angriol that people are using and whatnot. But he well, he tracked it meticulously. This show has no clue. Well, and, and I also sort of that the scene. I'm I'm sorry, I have to go back to the arrows scene, but sort of aggravating too because oh. what do what do I said I fear most? How many times is it said in the books? And I know we shouldn't even be referencing the books because an, an archer could different. catch you unawares. One, that sort of thing. One one arrow can take out an I said I. That's why they have orders. That's exactly why they have warders, because one unseen arrow can take yeah. them out. In fact, that's how that's the favorite way for white cloaks to take out Aes Sedai is just pumping arrows at them. I'm pretty sure uh, Alana actually lost one in exactly that way. Hmm. Not in this show. Yeah. Anyways, let's keep going. Perfect timing. Like he really. She's dead. Granny gets blasted. She's she dead. She goes sideways. She wait, went wait. sideways into a pillar. He's also dead. Yes. <laughs> Unless this is a Marvel movie, she's dead. Yeah. Thoracic compression killed her. <sighs> her back. 
hit the edge of a column with enough force that she was thrown against it and bounced off, she's at least paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is broken. I also, I also love the implication that Logan could have done that whenever he wanted to. He was yeah. just like fucking with them. Yes. I, I like it. I mean, that's honestly, uh, Loghain being shielded by two Aes Sedai, that's pretty realistic. <laughs> good yeah, right good, on, good yeah. on you, Raginor. You, uh, yeah, uh, chalk, chalk that up to uh, true to canon. Two unlinked sisters of, you know, middling right. power level. <laughs> trying to link Loghain, or trying to shield Loghain, yeah. yeah. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. I think, I think Rand, who is only slightly stronger than Loghain, stilled and killed three sisters holding him actually it was four that, wasn't it it was three it was, three tied think, it off well, and one was holding it actively it was anyway. it three I, for no, some reason i thought it was seven uh they yeah, had, i thought no. it was six and one they uh so they had tied it off and he had worked through some of the ones that were tied um yeah. and there were and th three or four that were still doing it at the end and he he was frantically trying to break out before the oh, others yeah. could realize what happened there was and try three to and he, cr him. he crushed three and all three were stilled yeah and i'm pretty sure one of them died so yes. well wasn't it wait so what but wasn't it seven total wasn't it seven total knots one actively holding the knots and then three tried to to actively it might have been knots six or seven constantly holding it but when the fighting started that's when they, they tied, started yeah. nodding it but yeah, yeah. I, we're now way way over like discussing Lord of Chaos when we yep, should probably yep. get through this. Uh, we started talking good stuff and we got to. I know. I know. Stuff. We have to. We have to turn. We have to come back to the shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm known as I'm known as Buzz Killington to my friends. Destroyer of Hope is your new yeah, title. I, I need to. <laughs> Guys, like I've said, I'm desperate to get to this break because I can't stand this anymore. <laughs> you guys realize we are six minutes of showtime into this I'm, and how long have we been recording for an now? hour all right <laughs> let's let's try and get to um the first kind of bite yeah. part done yeah okay uh she's dead why didn't he just walk out free right there C cgi king of gildan because he looks completely different than everybody else. Can I can I just throw this in? Oh, wow. So the the apologists for the show talk about the reason that we had to have this episode and next episode was to establish the warder bond, right? His eyes to die oh. just got thrown against a wall and knocked the yeah. fuck out, and he doesn't feel a thing mm -hmm. until later when she gets actually killed. So yeah, I'll wait to go off on. I'll wait to go so off. So what warder thing, bond? What water bond are we establishing again? Oh, that's right. This was also Shibia's shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he just, yeah, he, he should have been, like, he should have made a beeline right to her. But sorry, go ahead. Let's keep going, boys. I think we've, in the time that it would take. <laughs> what are you doing to me? In the time that <laughs> We're it would enjoying take your to turn around and say, oh my God, we need to get to the cave. They're dead. Logain has killed them. Logain's out. Logain, like, why is he sitting there still meditating? It's like, okay, you broke free. Go kill them and move on. Yeah. Every single one of these Aes Sedai is now dead. They're all dead. Well, you guys the are forgetting he his... that he was he was waiting for Moraine to show up. Because he, you know, I mean, the plot needed that to happen. Because it was such a yeah. such a good, you know, sort of moment. So good. Dude, he should have completely nuked. Yeah, uh, Logain. At this point, we, we have to assume Logan just stopped for a wank or something. Like, yeah. that's the only... <laughs> Man, I could really... Uh... Uh... Well, this is his first time in days that uh, he's not being watched by the sisters, so maybe that's exactly what he's doing. All right. One maybe power I... is a weapon. Okay. Killed... How many... Oh, my God. How many did she just kill? She threw a lot into still, the ground. Still her. Still her right now. Still I just... her. I just want to say yeah, she, she shouldn't have been able to do that. Uh, I think in the defense of her and her warder, I, I think that's that's mm. I, I'll allow it. It's borderline. Uh, I don't what know. People charge. Okay. She could have. She could have they, passed the table. From she from a rules of engagement. Huh? From a rules of engagement standpoint, they have already done mm. hostile act, not just hostile intent. You can absolutely use lethal force. 
Okay. Yeah, but she didn't need to. She could have swatted the arrows aside. She could have made like an air barrier. Yeah, but there's there's nothing in there's nothing in the oath saying that like you're you know you can't use it as a weapon except for in the defense of yourself or your warder's oh. life or the life of another sister. Unless you're being sarcastic again. Unless caveat, you could also have bound them in st- in air instead of killing them. Like that's so, not part so of the you're oath. Saying, so you're saying instead of trying to preserve human life, she just decided to kill them because it was easier. Would you- I'm just saying Vera that... and Karuna join Perrin like into Dumai's wells after Perrin tells them they need to stay up on the hill mm-hmm. and they ignore him and they, they go into the thick of battle so that yeah. they can be useful. Like they need to be in actual physical danger. Yeah. I'm saying here, I don't I don't think Alana's in like danger for her life yet. Look how close and that, that closest an... dead body is. No, yeah, I think should, you mean, should, you mean Lamb? Anyway, because that's yeah. exactly where Lan and my neighbor standing. <laughs> very, very true. <laughs> uh, she killed true. Lan. I think. Our... I think that's the biggest takeaway from this. And, and Pips, I'm with you. I, I, you know, when you say it that way, I get. Look, I, I, yeah, I yeah, will totally. nitpick this show with the best of them, but this specific scene and use of the one power doesn't bother me personally. Okay. No, Since I, I want to get to the break and get a bottle of wine, I will agree with you guys if we can move on from it. Please. I think <laughs> I don't know. the biggest, the hey, biggest, hey, take, hey. the biggest takeaway is where did Nynaeve and Land warp to? Man, Land has warping skills. Who knew that? I didn't. Uh, well, I th- they I are they boning off camera. Them. They're oh, boning oh, off camera. We actually saw their second coupling, not their first. That's why. Oh, that's why it. Uh, that's why it went so quickly. <laughs> man, he did it to her standing right. Like man, they ran off pretty quick. Yeah, he was. He was into it. Hey, Pips. Oh, In your God. professional opinion, <laughs> what would you call this attack strategy? Uh, I mean, I guess uh, sort of Pickett's charge, the the charge of the Light Brigade. I mean, you know, there there are things that come to mind. <laughs> um, this, this is the this is the flog the dolphin technique. Certainly here. not a sound tactical approach. Let's yell. Let's yeah. Yeah. Let's give up our yeah. Let's give up our position by yelling about a hundred meters away and give him a warning. <laughs> let's send high arching shots that sound like a your your typical passing seven forty seven and take approximately seven years to land instead of hiding behind a tree and shooting a couple arrows to pick them off and then charge across the largest open space we were able to find in a forest. Wait, so I actually have a question. What weave it like is that something should he, she should have even been able to do with the one power? Yes. She can Turn do the it. arrows no and issue. redirect them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll give it to I wasn't sure. I that was an honest question. I wasn't sure. Yeah, you just make a broad yeah. weave of air, but and you make it thicker, like they can wrap stuff in air and shift the direction of it. Yeah, true enough, true enough, true anyway. enough. Yeah. Some of those bodies were getting back up again. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like, ah, shit, I need to be in the in the next scene. There's only four extras. I love how, I love how the warders <laughs> are running in front of all the, the women in, in Aes Sedai. Oh, rope, rope work. <laughs> Pause. Oh, God. It was like a decent sort of M80 budget, I guess, that they're using there. Right. <laughs> Oh man, what do you got, Dan? No words. Like I, I watched this all in slow motion. Like the the blocking and everything. It's it's really bad when you when you get and dissect it. Like guys will come at them and they'll go down, and then like Ivan will have a guy in front of him, but he'll shoot at someone farther away because the other guy's going to fall down and then come back up and try and stab Nynaeve. Like yep, just watch for that. The the guy that Nynaeve ends up stabbing, I think he falls for no reason. Everybody ignores him. He gets back up, and all of a sudden, Nynaeve's in trouble. Like, you think they forgot to CGI whatever it was that was supposed to kill him? And falling maybe. for no reason? Yeah, I, <laughs> yes. I will say, the uh, number of people that decide to hug Nynaeve rather than swing a weapon at her is... There's at least two... There's There might be oh, as there, many... There's some bad but, swings coming up. Well, let, let, let's get to that, like... So you guys, Let's get through. you guys, you guys watched this uh, in slow motion multiple times through to prep for this, right? Uh, did you notice? Yeah. What, was were there any of the uh, the like seven extras that were in this scene 
that we like recognize like that individual guy died three times in this scene like is it that bad or like have we gotten to rise of skywalker sort of like uh, no it's... you know seven seven people died 11 times yet have we have we had that happen yet uh, unfortunately the shaky cam is so bad <laughs> no. you can't even the, tell <laughs> the, yeah the action scenes are so incoherent like literally try and pick out any of these people fighting them it is impossible they're just blank faces I, it's awful let's go where are they going well oh, nowhere with a sense Lan of urgency is gonna, Lan is gonna point pretty soon and say something for some reason what? You know, how did they end up in the forest? Like, weren't they at the encampment? Wouldn't their first reaction be go to the cave? No, that, that that's where they're going. And I, I had to double check this, but there is a bit of a distance between the cave and the camp. That's and how I would it. set up a camp if I Why had something I had to guard the... and defend. I would. I would <laughs> put set the up camp... everything for this fight. Yeah, I'd put the camp. This is probably... set up this way so they could do this scene. At some sort of a remove, you know, like like if I, you know was trying to say set up a bank for example i'd probably put the money down the street under a tarp you know yeah, as far away as possible yeah Christ. think of that way they'll never see it coming that way if it disappears you just you don't know so it's still it doesn't matter because you just don't know it disappeared yeah go 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 i don't know so like uh, what is Logan doing at this point i thought we covered that he's having a wank yeah He's yeah he yeah, he's in the corner, yeah. It's got to melt his cage too. Uh, that's... There, what the fuck, Lan? Wait 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 wait! wait. I, I missed it. Should we go back? Everybody's coming in. No, we're not going back. We already saw. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, that's so good. Oh man, you're not allowed to stop better. it here. She runs. Oh, it's so good. In this line. What's there, Lan? The guys coming to kill you? Yes, they came at you from one direction. <laughs> oh, the smoke machine is back. Uh, it's true. Dude, it's true. You know what? That 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 uh, the smoke machine you use here, I think, uh, makes me believe your theory for the the back behind the scenes thing more. That that's nothing more than just them spreading smoke because. They don't want to all, show all their different. fights need to have smoke, but yeah. no, I, yeah. actually, if you, well, I think you covered it the uh, the season two behind the scenes trailer. Yeah, I they they had the smoke machine yeah. and the well, fan blowing into well, the no, scene. No. So, well, I speculated, I was like, well, maybe this is the the, the heroes coming back, and Dean's like, nope, that's just them creating smoke because they're they suck. And I'm like, well. Huh? How and it's, it's see you guys. You like, guys actually. Yeah, right. yeah, they, you're trying they to also be did it too. In the last episode when the wolves chased Perrin and yep. Egwene through the forest, they you, love that smoke machine effect. It's you guys are actually. Favorites. You guys are actually focusing too much on what's happening on scene as the justification for the smoke machine. I mean, imagine for yourself, how else would you blow this much smoke up your own ass? Clearly, <laughs> an industrial strength smoke machine is the only um, answer. Holy shit. Uh, Trip yeah. is saying in the chat here, though, so the green are the battle Aja, but their strategy is run, split up, and fake it. Yes. Yeah. Like, th th these people, like... They're reacting now. like they've never been in a battle. But. Well, let's let's just remember that the only two battles, or the only two things that we really know about them, is that run, split up, and fake it is what they did in uh, when Malkier was attacked and when the White Tower was attacked. <laughs> uh, let, let's keep going. I don't know how much the more most... there is of this, but but we the are going to do our sucks. We're, we're going to do our break <laughs> once we get back into the cave. So it's at the the oh, end of some okay. of this fighting, but there's some pretty right. egregious shit in here, and there's going to be some egregious shit in our, hey, our next why episode. Not, why don't you just take a sec, man? You, we, just calm down. Go. Just calm down. We can we we can vamp if you need to go get drunk real quick. <laughs> oh, she is just kamehameha-ing all over the place. Okay, wait. <laughs> that that guy in yellow just oh. fell down. Maxim has done nothing but pose this whole fight. But there was a guy in yellow <laughs> who wasn't hit because Ivan was shooting for someone farther away. Yep. Um, 
And then Nynaeve just pulled her knife out with the most egregious sound effect. Like it's even worse, I think, than um, Eamon Valda getting another ring or whatever on on his belt. Hmm. Thank and that God. sound effect's gonna come back every time she shanks the guy. Just listen for it. Just thank God Ivron's got his bow. Thank God. Every time you know, that we see Steppen a... swing his axe, just remember that his Aes Sedai is unconscious, bleeding on the floor in the cave right like, now. Like, 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 hold on. Just, just let me. Like, it brings up how much. Just, just this scene just tells you how ridiculous him with that bow is right there. They are laying waste to everybody at range. Why? What is two arrows helping when they are just. Throwing that, the one power around. That was my it point. No and a bow and arrow yeah. for no, a warder just, yeah. is... And he's not hes not actually effective at taking out the guys that get in close because we'll see one kind of get up that he missed and try and kill Nynaeve. Yeah, I was just reiterating what you said, Pips. It, it yeah. makes it makes no sense because this, this shows it right here that it makes no sense because Alana is just taking out everybody at range and he's done... He, it, if that guy in the yellow right in front of him gets to him she's dead imagine in the in the weird threesome that they get into imagine being the warder with the bow like dude must be just complete just completely limp just constantly emasculated so much all the time like i've been going the corner go practice shooting your bow you can't like, have a sword what's your favorite weapon bow oh <laughs> I am uh, trying to figure out what the fuck kind of archery this idiot is trying. You mean the front got, fucking loincloth bow punch? It's, it's the it's the double it's the double arrow because I'm cool warder technique. No, only one Except of them. The, only the, one is stringed, and he's got the other two kind of clasped in his lower fingers, but he's not shooting those. No, I think he has both of them on the string. I think he's I think one is, is on the shooting? wrong side of the bow. One is going through his left hand. It is fingers. It, it totally is. I think it, I'm. I watched this at twenty five percent speed. I'm pretty sure he only shoots one at a time. But, look at Unless, it, but I could be wrong. Play, that play is it. not better. Play it forward. <laughs> play it forward. If only one arrow at, goes out of what, there. But. But look at where that arrow is at. Alex is right. The bottom arrow is going right through his wrist. Yeah, because he's holding on to it. So he's he's prepping his, it. That's that's not how you wrist. hold an arrow when it's, you're it's, holding it's, it. One, it's how, one how way. Is he get it I'm, out I'm of, not an archery expert, but he's not shooting no, two arrows at once. He's not shooting three going, at once. But no, no, that's not what I'm saying, Dane. It's going through the palm of his hand. It's yeah, because he's holding deep. on to it. Yeah, he's not it's, it's, it's between his fingers, pinned between his palm. Are and you the serious? Bow. That is the stupidest Which, thing I've yeah. ever seen. Yeah, so he has no control over the bow yes. with his front hand. That I have no idea how he plans to get that arrow out of his front hand. Dropping like, the bow no on the ground. That that's faster <laughs> than reaching down and picking one up. Out of like, his no, it's bottom. probably not because the the archery stuff that I have seen, where people will draw like two or three arrows at once and shoot, they'll they'll hold basically other arrows with their parallel like with pinky the bow. and ring finger, or or yeah, either parallel with the bow or it would be on their drawn hand, but it's not kind of um, lined up and ready to shoot as it is here. It's hanging down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there are I mean. various. This is dumb. Like I, I think we know that, but we do. We can we can watch. Let's watch him shoot his like, limp, <laughs> his just limp dick of a bow. Um, oh. he didn't shoot it. He missed. It never yeah. came off a string. He he missed the dude. <laughs> Ching. There's a swing. Look, he just shot that it into did. the air. He just shot it into the air. <laughs> well, they, they cut away before he could see them do anything with he, it. He he cowered. He didn't shoot it. He didn't shoot Maxim it. is still posing with his fucking spear. He doesn't do anything. Oh, oh see? Oh, there's she's the dead. guy I, Ivan missed. Shing, He's shing, shing. That she's that dead. dude that dude hugged her with the arm holding an axe. <laughs> oh my god, she's dead. And he's Ivan dead is still posing. <laughs> oh my god. Who choreographed this? This is somebody. This is somebody Rand's who like. <laughs> hey, pause really quick there. 
we we just saw Stefan's axe embedded in a guy's chest, and a split second later, Stefan had both axes. All right, wait, wait, we made wait. it. Wait, 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 wait! Didn't didn't he just? Did the guy just javelin his spear? It it freaking is it Max? What what's his Maxim. name? The, Maxim. Maxim. Didn't he just javelin like the Zilnay and just javelin his like? No, he definitely no. shot three arrows at once. I thought I remembered him shooting multiple. I thought I remembered that happening. Then the, I retract all previous statements. This is what what is so like, stupid. Where does but this isn't Maxim? Go? But where's the javelin go? He's throwing Nowhere. it at somebody. Does he just miss? Yeah. Yeah, they what, cut yeah. away from it. Yeah, uh, Maxim right. teleported. And then stabbed him in the chest. Just that he could stab him. Man, uh, this war is They can teleport now. There is a third step and axe. If you guys look very carefully, there's one guy who actually goes down with the step and axe embedded in his chest, and a split second later, Stefan's got both axes in his hands. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, my like, God. The, 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 but... There are worse edits coming up in the next pit, but this is, uh, I think, as far as I've, I've kind of oh. timed out uh, or plotted out where we could do a mid-episode break. Uh, and guys, more than any other of these rewatches, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I cut the shakes, man, and I don't think it's the caffeine. We've, I think we've made Dane episode. go through this sober. <laughs> we just want to thank everybody for coming <laughs> up on YouTube and watching this and, and listening to us suffer, or at least me suffer on this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Check out Prophet of the Dragon on his own channel. Uh, he's been a great supporter for us and helping us on the technical side. I hope you guys have been having fun. I haven't, but I, I definitely hope to have a lot more fun on the next part of this, uh, which should be airing uh, a couple of days after this one comes up on YouTube. So thanks, everybody, in the chat. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Pips, uh, Prophet, Alex, do you guys have any final thoughts before we do our break? Uh, well... Uh, this is just as bad as I remember it, uh, and uh, I I don't know. I, I'm sort of dumbfounded here. Uh, how how time doesn't matter in this show, and how warders are terrible, and how bad channeling is. But yeah, hey, on on to part two. Dane can get nice and drunk, and it'll be all right. Alex, anybody who's a Rings of Power fan. <laughs> this is your future. Yeah, this is what go. is coming for you. <laughs> Take a good look. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Well, all I want to say is uh, obviously you guys' support has been awesome. I think we're over two hundred and thirty-five. I think two hundred thirty-seven subs right now. So uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, it's been amazing. We feel honored. Uh, please do check out Prophet of the Dragon, putting out great stuff to include uh, a couple good things that'll probably drop between now and uh, when this gets on YouTube. Uh, so thanks for coming out and walking the light. Hail the dragon. <laughs>